Hi, how are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for uh, coming to our show today. My pleasure. How are you feeling today? I feel good to be here. You are looking nice. Kama kawaida. Even on a feel. Even on a feel. Ume sema secret ni gani? Secret ya kukaa vizuri, ni kupenda vizuri na pesa. Hii lori mnatopi mapenzi. We'll get back to you. With me here, I'm having an amazing panel of beautiful guests. Each one of them is doing something that is uh, contributing into Eldoret uh, industry. And I would like to table some few questions to each and one of them so we get to understand what they do. And I believe Stacherop is the, is the most famous one. Huh, baby? Yeah, yeah, mjua kila mali. She's the sensational TikToker and also a host. Na, Ana to savungu pia body goals kidogo. Maybe what was in there then to ski in Atombia. I will start by asking you like how did you first come into film? Okay, to be honest, it has not been easy because I I did not just start and then boom, I'm here. First of all, uh, let me just start from where everything started. When I came to Eldoret, I was introduced to activations. The, I was just giving out flyers in the streets flyers in the streets, in malls, or these big shops in town. And that was not easy. It was really, really tough. After that, I went to club hosting. I hosted in clubs. After that, I came to being an influencer, your event in influencer. And that's how it has been up to now. So it, it has been gradually. It's not just something that happened in a day. And your followers, uh, I believe your followers boomed from a certain content you made or... Yeah, that's true because, okay, let me, let me, let me talk of TikTok before I come to other platforms. So, um, TikTok, people love the Kienyeji version of me. They, they don't like this version of me. When I talk broken Kiswahili, when I talk in Kiswahili with a bit of Kalenjin, they love that. But now when I come looking like this, they're like, no. But now when I, when I do contents which include me talking, that include some, a bit of comedy, they love that a lot. You mentioned something about you uh, distributing flyers. Uh, how, was it that, how was that for you? Okay, since I had no other work or another job to do that could give me some income, I had to do that, though it was it's not easy because I had to start from 8 in the morning, moving from office to office in town giving out flyers and you know not everyone will treat you well when you give out flyers because I remember I could even give someone a flyer and they ask me what are these for and just give me an, a look I'm like okay I'm sorry I like some people feel like you're bothering them and yet you are at work they and they can't understand that how long is this from now okay actually I moved to Eldoret last year, April. I'm just a year and some few months old here. Yeah. Unaka mwenyeji? Yeah, you know, when you go to the romance, you mm. do what the romance do. <laughs> how, has been the how has the reception been for you as an influencer? It has been good here in Eldoret. I love it because, you know, people are friendly, but you know, not everyone will be happy for you. That's normal. And I'm used to, to the hate from my haters. But I'm, I'm happy because... That's just a small percentage. So many people are proud of me, including my mom, of which even if no one is proud of me, my mom is there standing beside me. And that makes everything okay. Jinayako star cherop. E style talk up in your tako elinga haji. Will it up your jin? Okay. The name star I actually haven't told this to anyone, but the truth is I don't know if you guys will understand this. In Kalenjin, we have something called, okay, I don't know how to explain this, but then I, have a na I was given a name by my parents, mm -hmm. the same name that my father's mother had. What is the name? Esther. Esther. Yeah. So the, the star I have mm -hmm. is the, that from the name from my mother. <laughs> I don't know how to explain this, but I hope you get it. I get it. Yeah. You've been hosting in these, uh, in these clubs. Mm -hmm. uh, how has it been for you? How, is, how has the experience been for you in terms of hosting in the clubs? Uh, the experience has been good, but now I'll just add the same thing that Getty said, the issue of the pay. Let these guys pay us on time. After work, it's okay. If you're hosting on Sunday, pay us on Monday. We don't have a problem with that. Uh, but generally, I like it 
even though you know when you are hosting in the club some people see you like the you know there are some people who take us for hosts because of what we are doing actually it's work i don't have papers i can't go to the airport and ask to be a pilot but this i i can do this because my 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 level allows me to be a, a host of which there is someone who can't be a host they maybe they are not beautiful maybe they, they are not social with people but not because i can do this let me do what i can do better okay yeah but so and but to be honest i like it and i love it so how are you going the wrong perspective i'm at the wrong perspective uh, about your work umesema how what have take to kufana i just see what i don't care you know these people will always talk when you have prob problems they will not help no you will call someone to help you oh i don't have this and no i don't have anything but now when i walk i get my own money na ntajipanga i'll be like this acha ini nunue nguo acha ini nunue nguo hii nifanye nini na nini but now these people will always talk but they will never help you so i'm like i don't give a fuck let them say but they will sleep at the end of the day has anybody ever approached you in the club with an intention of buying you yeah, of course of course but now that directly or just uh, uh, just I mean, was it that direct like she the person sees you in his Once, own image and then one time i was hosting in a club and someone is like hey how much for the night and i'm like excuse me i'm here for work i'm not here to hook mm -hmm. okay like i don't know what perspective other people have about our work of hosting in clubs but i think we don't care anyway we are there to work we are not there to do anything else we don't care about what other people think about us let them just think yeah. okay you've had it from star cherub and just before we go back to getty maybe she can uh, tell us something about her influencing job uh, we can start with what was your first gig uh, as an influencer and how did you know like this influencing thing really pays and can really work for you my first influencing job was Kitenge Festival. Last, last, not, not this, not the last one. The other one, the April 20, 20, 2021 one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was my first influencing gig. And I liked it because it paid me. Because uh, during the Kitenge Festival, mm -hmm. I did not only do one job. I, I, I like working, by the way. Napenda kujituma. Sasa, during the day, I go give out flyers about the event. Online, I post about it. During the event, I'll be there, just you know, making sure everyone is okay during the event. Yeah, so it's like it was really nice for me because it paid me well. Too. In we know like your work is rising, and uh, I think most of the time when people see you on TikTok, mm -hmm. and when people see ladies on TikTok dancing to the TikTok sound and everything, they usually have that uh, that uh, negative ideas and negative notion and which is in uh, Ziko very negative. So just some last word to people who might be having wrong idea about such a rope yeah. or be something. Yeah, so when you see me on TikTok doing my thing, shut the fuck up. Just shut up and do your business. Let me do mine. Because let me tell you something. For the last two semesters I've been I have been in school, TikTok paid my school fees. I make money on TikTok. It's not like I'm just there to, to, to make you smile and everything. I mean, I love TikTok. Okay, compared to all my platforms, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, TikTok gives me more money compared to the other platforms. The highest amount you've ever received from TikTok, what was how much? In 30 minutes, I had an official, an official match. I do matches since I'm in Kenya. We are not, we are not paid like other countries. So... When I have an official match, I can even make like 100 Gs in 30 minutes. No, not 30 minutes, in 10 minutes. What well, down? And, and me, someone me, is busy <laughs> hating on me because I'm on TikTok. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Eldoret uh, creative industry. One earlier, sana that if you are if you are not uh, a challenge, you know, from that uh, lineage, uh, ingumu sana wewe kutokea. Una shuku like uh, I can see like in the in the in, in Eldoret here, the biggest comedian are mostly challenge. Uh, that including uh, uh, Senge, Elena, you, uh, and who else? Who else am I missing out? How? how yeah. um, there's Uria. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, what do you? How, what is your comment on this? My comment on that is 
clear. This work in Ataka weke, you have to put a lot of work. Na pia kama hauna nyota hauna. Let me tell you one thing. Hmm? Unapata mtu anajikompea na mtu mwingine, na ya anafanya comedy leo, anapost leo, anaka, anapost next week. We, we don't work like that in the industry. Kwa hii industry, you have to put in a lot of work. Mm. And then the issue of talking about the line, the lineage of mm -hmm. oh, oh, nibidi yako, nibidi yako. Where post? Cheke shawa tu cheke. Mm -hmm. mm. Usi ande kusema tio huyu. No people like this one because in the mukali si juu ni niapana. For example, mtu kama mla mwa kusia kona fancy lorit, and he's part of the event I'm in today. When we talk about Issue of kuwa mukale amani ni ni ni. I don't think you ina ina usu anything. And then this industry ni bidi ya kuto ni bidi. Last question. Yeah. Uh, do you feel the county government is playing a big role in supporting creatives in Eldoret? No, they have to do. They have to do more work. They are they are, they are doing nothing. Sorry for for saying that, but I don't think they are doing anything.